Hi everyone, it's Lynn. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made a couple of pumpkins using wooden spoons. So what you're gonna need is three spoons that have the same, that rounded part is all the same size. Uh, it doesn't matter if they have different length handles, just make sure that end part is all the same size. And I cut the handle off completely from two of them. And then the third one, I left a little piece on there for the stem of the pumpkin. And the next thing I did was I stained them. I used Waverly Antique Wax and a baby wipe and covered all three spoons, front, back, and sides. When they were completely dry, I took a piece of scrapbook paper, fall-themed scrapbook paper from Michaels. I flipped it over and I traced the spoons onto the back of it. And then I cut them out and I'm going to Mod Podge them onto the spoon. You have to do it on the back of the spoon, the portion that's not like dipped. And this is a little bit curved, so you just have to kind of press it around the sides and make sure that it is adhered really well. And then I did go back over the top of that scrapbook paper with Mod Podge as well. And while those were drying, I went to these other wooden spoons. These came from Dollar Tree. I think they put them out at most of the seasons. See how the handle is red and white striped? Because these were from like 4th of July. And I did the same thing. I cut the handles off of two of them. I left the handle on the third one and I traced it onto a piece of fabric. And then I cut that out and Mod Podged it onto the smaller spoon the same way I did the scrap of paper on the larger spoons. And when those larger spoons were dry, I took some twine and I glued it all the way around the outside of the spoon. Because when I put these together with that kind of pattern being so busy, you might not be able to see the difference in each spoon and this will definitely define that. When I was done doing that, I took a piece of a popsicle stick and I glued two of those spoons together. I kind of um, angled them so that the tops of the spoons were close together. And then I did add another popsicle stick. And before I added the third spoon on, I wrapped the handle with some twine. And then I just added some hot glue to that spoon and glued it right in between the other two spoons. And then I did the same thing to the smaller spoons. I added the twine around it and I glued them together. But before I added the third spoon to the center, I did cut the handle down just a little bit. And then I glued that on and then I used the twine again to wrap around that handle. And once both my little pumpkins were made, I added some uh, Spanish moss to the top of each of them and I made each one of them a little messy bow which I do by just crisscrossing fabrics and then tying them off in the center. I trim them up a bit and then I glue them right on top of that Spanish moss and I did add a button to each of those little bows. And then the last thing I did was add a few Jenga blocks to the back of each of the pumpkins just so that they would stand up on their own and look at how adorable these turned out. I love them and I hope you love them too and I hope you give this one a try. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.